Hi there, sticky particles. By the way, if you consider that the background is something you're working with for hours and hours sometimes, uh, change it from time to time. Alt B makes it black, makes it dark gray, makes it light gray, and makes it um, uh, rampy. Okay, let's go to Windows, General Editors, Content Browser, and select under Bipeds one of the characters here. And I actually quite like the obese character here for a reason I don't know. Maybe because I'm a pretty skinny person. So he lands in the scene. He's gigantic, of course. Uh, like always, the objects are very big. But the pivot is uh, down here, uh, and we just scale him down. We could also do this in the attribute editor, of course. So this is the size which is good for us now. Okay, um, now we will move him to the left and introduce a sphere. We can use a polygon sphere. I sometimes prefer the NURBS spheres. Let's move it up so it doesn't touch the ground like this or maybe like this. When you go to the make NURBS sphere you can open that sphere and we want half a sphere only or even less so you can play with this uh, with the start and the end sweep for example is 180 degrees now this is just perfect the sphere has two sides the inside which is shaded black here which means it doesn't have a shader and the outside which is gray which says it has a standard Lambert shader and uh, the particles which will emit from this object will emit from the positive side so to say meaning from out here. Let's do this now. Go to under FX, you find the end particles and you emit from an object from the currently selected half sphere. So that's what you're doing. Um, now the particles will uh, evaporate from the half sphere and slowly fall down or quickly fall down that's because we have now the nucleus in the scene and the nucleus has gravity 9.8 we could reduce this gravity to zero in order to let the particles not fall down but uh, move straight away from that surface in in all uh, directions but we don't need to do this because we uh, can uh, do this on a per object basis and um, well let's go to the N sphere and we have actually we will go to the we select the particles the particles here it's a huge box currently because the particles have developed that far already if we start the animation from the beginning the box where is the box the box is much smaller okay uh, we, here we have a radius which we'll use in a second but uh, we want to ignore the gravity from uh, the solvus gravi gravity so uh, let's close all the sections here so you see things as you will see them you go to dynamic properties and you activate ignore solver gravity now when we run this simulation the particles shoot out from this half sphere we want to shoot them more into the direction of our obese man and uh, there are several ways to do this but uh, basically if you change the shape of the NURB surface the um, the whole distribution will change so remember how they leave the half sphere now like this when we make it smaller like this they behave like in a lens which is not bad but we actually can just have it like this almost flat maybe even a little bit more so they cover the whole body of our obese man 
like this. Perfect. Okay, now we want the particles to detect him. So let's select him right here and go to N cloth. I explained this several times, it's a bit strange, but the passive collider which we want to create is under N cloth, although we don't have any cloth here. But that's the way it works. It doesn't work uh, with field solvers and create passive rigid body, for example. Um, at least I haven't found ways to, to make this work here. So create passive collider under N cloth with our obese characters selected, creates, well, here is an icon. Um, now the particles detect the human. Can we actually see it? Let's get a little bit closer here. And we need a longer simulation range, like 300 frames, in order to see the particles develop there. So now they arrive, and you see they touch the surface, and from the back we see no particles are flowing through our object. So the detection does work, it works quite nicely. Now the next thing we want to do is we want them to stick on that surface. So just uh, to give you the comparison, that's what they do now. Have a look at one of the particles, anyone there, they kind of slip around and now when we raise the stickiness under the enriched shape here, which is selected anyway, from 0 to 1 or 2 even, um, the particles will stick there. So the next thing we're going to do is we'll increase the size of the uh, of the particles. Let's, uh, select the particles here, ignore solver gravity, that's what we had uh, a couple of minutes ago. Now we go to shading. The shading you can give uh, the particles colors. Currently they set to a render type points. Let's go to spheres. We have huge spheres now. Much too big. And the radius of the spheres, where is it? Under particle size. So let's reduce the radius from 0 0.2 to 0 0.01 for example we get small bubbles. And as you can see, they stick on the surface of that man here. Now, um, we need more of them and maybe even smaller. 0, 0.5. So they're smaller. And we need more of them, so we go to the emitter, because that's an emission thing. Well, where is the emitter? Well, the emitter is our NURBS sphere. And under the node of the NURBS sphere is the emitter. So if you search for it, it's uh, linked with, and it's kind of um, hierarchically under the NURBS sphere. So the, the emitter is selected now, and now you can... Um, change the speed so they shoot off faster but that's not the rate of the particles the rate is here particles per second so let's go from 1000 per second to 10,000 per second much better and I think we can change our geometry here, even make it even flatter, like this. That's fine. Now we see the particles stick there. We can change the color and the size, of course. You've seen uh, how I did this. And if we hide our obese character now, select it and control H, it's still there and it will assemble more and more particles as you can see now 
but it's hard to see because uh, the the stream is still continuing so as a final step we'll do two actually two steps we'll change uh, something with the emitter we will tell the emitter to not emit particles anymore when this whole thing is finished like in 200 200 frames we have so many particles that the character is visible already so let's go here and um, set a keyframe here so we key 10,000 particles per second at frame 200 and one a frame further 201 we reduce this to zero so instantly the emitter will, will start uh, will stop emitting particles let's see how this looks My playback speed is currently maximum real time, but play every frame. So it's slower than real time now because it has to do all the calculations for the collisions now. We're approaching 200. And right after 200, the emitter will stop working. So the last particles reach our object now, that's around 220. And then the particles disappear and we have our character outline now. The last thing, we don't want the particles here anymore. So let's kill them after a certain amount of time. So let's go to particle shape again. And here, uh, the second section from the top is the lifespan. It's currently set to live forever. We can give it a constant living range. If we keep it to one, which is one second, which is 25 frames, I guess, they will just stop here because they don't live longer than one second. But how about 10 seconds? That's much better. We probably don't need the 10 seconds. How about 5 seconds? Or even less, like 3. You have to try it out for yourself. So now the animation goes like this. The particles die, so they don't live forever and flow forever to the left of the scene and uh, at frame 200 the emit emitter will stop working now and the rest of the particle will just die off within a few seconds oh and you can cache this animation so it runs faster you select the emitter and then you go to n cache and you create a new cache or for n object and then Maya will cache the whole uh, sequence which takes a while not very long in this case and after that you can play it back as long as you like in real time so that's all I wanted to show you and have a nice day.